Okay, wrapping up a long day at a swag golf event. We're on hole 10 at Chambers Bay, 398 yards. Straight into the sun. We're gonna see how we can do. No warm up, no swings really, other than some nine irons today. About seven hours on our feet. Just looking for a stinger up the middle, 400 yard hole, no effort, with people walking towards us. Right at the center. All right, let's see if we can get a few holes in. Okay, so knowing that it's been a long day and my bag's heavy with some camera gear and I'm walking, I'm gonna try and play a few holes as best I can before I get kicked out of this place. Um, there's another swag golf event with Am Golf Trips, which has been an absolute blast. They put on great events, give away great stuff. They're doing a chipping contest right now with Tacoma Irons. Um, so tons of fun, but just knocked a two iron up the, up the fairway and we'll see what we can do. Okay, so 123 in. We're just gonna hit a gap wedge here and see what we can do. Just trying to hit one solid, nothing special, 123. If anything, it looks like long is better. Ah, just clear the bunker, clear the bunker, clear the bunker. It sounded like it cleared the bunker, that's all that matters. Not the best, flared it right, but that's okay. Okay, so I just set my camera down. Looks like I flew this bunker just fine. And like I said, I pushed it, but it's not a, not a deal breaker. Just downhill right to left. You can hear the train in the background maybe. Pretty cool being out here. Um, and I'm gonna try and squeeze. If I can squeeze nine in, I'll be extremely happy. Um, gonna try and move fast, so may not be the best golf you've ever seen but I'd love to see as much of Chambers Bay as possible. So it feels pretty downhill, pretty down, pretty quick. Nah, whatever. Thought it was gonna break more. Easy part to start, I'll take it, let's keep going. Gotta hurry. <laughs> Got a 500 yard par for 11th. Not exactly sure what it does, but it goes out and to the left, so. Aiming at this big mound with a draw. All right, that's perfect. Really straight, little tight draw just inside that mound. I should be perfect. Okay, pretty fun. Um, again, this was at a Chambers Bay swag golf event. So essentially it's a two man team. There's a best net, best gross that win and can make it into the uh, national championships at Big Cedar Lodge, get your trip paid for. So that's kind of what all the guys are doing, playing guys and men and women, I should say. Um, and so now at the end of the day, kind of hanging out, I get to come out and race around and try and squeeze eight, nine holes in as long as kind of no one stops me. So tons of fun. Can't recommend these trips enough. They give out sort of head covers, I think two day vouchers to uh, Teeth of the Dog, Casa de Campo. Um, you can win if you hit a hole in one, like a week's stay with golf. I'm trying to think t-shirts, bunch of other stuff. You you got uh, putting challenges, chipping challenges to win more stuff. So it's a lot of fun. Um, and now you get to play great courses. So hopefully I can not make a mockery of this, even though I'm trying to, to race around quite a bit and get this in. But 500 yard, so easy par on the short par four. Playing everything, I'm gonna play everything as far back as I can find and then we'll go from there. So I was a 500 yard tee and I ripped the drive. Well, oh, ripped the drive. I don't know how far it's gonna go considering how tired I am, but it was right up the center. So good stuff, we'll see how we do. Okay, so we're looking at 143 yards. Again, slightly up a hill. Um, gonna try a little pitching wedge. I don't think I need to hit this very hard at all. 
I'm just gonna try and flight one in there. It appears like a right miss will bounce down to the left. So I'm gonna try and keep that in mind and make an aggressive move to hit a little push draw in there to the right side pin. Ah, uh, come on baby, get that bounce. I basically pushed it out, didn't draw. But yeah, came right back down. Sit, sit, sit. It appears like it's 10, 12, 15 feet, something like that. But it was basically a slight push, hit, hit in the hill and kicked right left. Okay, so this iron shot turned out really nice. Again, kicked up off that hill, just like it looked like it should have done. I'm gonna try and, again, trying to play fast, trying to get in what I can. Beautiful, beautiful night. Um, it's like eight, it's like 75 degrees. So getting to do this is pretty special. Um, hopefully the camera does it justice, just how good this looks. And hopefully roll this in. Be a beautiful birdie. Oh, it broke. I really didn't feel like it was gonna break with this hill here. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so I, I am currently running around this golf course. Um, train going through the background. I've got a pitching wedge. It says it's 175 yards of the flag downhill, so I'm guessing 165, something like that. Just need to hit one good tee shot here, one good wedge. Oh, it'll be enough. Come on, I missed it just a little bit. Go. Go. Whew. Just cleared the bunker. Probably got like a 40 footer, but I'll take it. All right, hurry up. Okay, so when I say I'm running around the course, I mean, I'm moving pretty darn quick. Um, it's pretty late. Like I'm, I'm willing to bet it's probably 8 p.m., 7.30, 8 p.m. Um, and I'm just flying to try and get this as much done as possible because it's such a nice day that it's just one of those days you don't miss when you have an opportunity like this. So essentially trying to run around, get as much as I can. Figured I would do the back nine, if anything, because it's right here on the water, which if we can be honest, like this is just gorgeous tonight. Um, so figured that would be more fun than starting off one. If I get a chance to play the 18th, that'll be incredible. Um, but so far, even par, it looks like I got like a 30 footer, 35 footer here. Not the best, not the best wedge shot, but not expecting too much when I'm running around like this. But it's gorgeous out here. Can't, can't say enough about that. Okay, so landed here. I've got to go over a mound, up a hill. God, it looks like I could slam it by the hole and have it roll back almost, though. Okay, so up over a ridge. I'm not going to do much reading. I'm just going to kind of guess and go because i got to keep moving. Um, just get lucky here. Eh, not enough. All right, good part, let's go. God, it's beautiful out here though. Uh, you can't ask for a better day. I wish I could slow down a little bit. Okay, so I've messed up. I went, I went 10, 11, 15, and now this is 16 playing from 425. Um, I'm just gonna hit it up the left. But it's cool, get to play this hole. But missed that short little par four. That's perfect. Good. Okay, so got lost. Okay, so, all right, a little embarrassing. Um, played 10 and 11, okay. And then I thought I was on 12, but I actually played 15. And now this is 16. This is that. What they played is a short drivable par four in the open when it was here. I played it from the back tee at 425. Um, again, beautiful right on the water. Probably, probably for the best that I did this, I can slow down a bit, play 16, 17, 18, and just call it a day. Um, just a fun few holes, get to soak it in while I'm here. 
I don't know, the next time I'll be back at Chambers Bay. So pretty cool, pretty fun. It's a beautiful course. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful out here. It's, it's incredible. Okay. So good tee shot, a little bit of a thin ball, but I think it caught a nice slope and rolled down here to the right. I've got 68 yards of the flag. I'm just gonna try and hit this, this first, first shot off grass with this new wedge. So we are gonna see what we get. 68 yards, looks like left is better. Fading a little right. Deep, might be deep. That's okay, I'll take it. Whew, what a night. Okay, so not the world's greatest 70 yard shot, but is what it is, I'm on the green. Um, let's just roll it and move on and get out of here. Easy? No way. Oh, that was a hell of a, hell of a putt for not reading much. Got to keep going. One more hole probably. It's probably really good that I screwed up my, my routing. Probably a very good thing. Okay, running out of daylight, sun setting, 180, 178, 177. Downhill, I got a nine iron. Got to hit this well though. Can't, you know, gonna try and take this and actually hit it aggressively. Make sure we get it there. Little left of flag. It's looking like it's at the left side of the green. Kick right a little. Come on down. Come on. Nice. So I missed the green left. It's feeding on. Oh, geez. That got much closer to the hole than it should have. That's much better. Okay, so again, I landed up high and it bounced and rolled all the way down. Um, didn't land it on the green over here. So lucky for that on a little plateau that's gonna roll down a slope, so gonna be a little quick. Just gotta get it over that slope, or to it, I should say. Break? Huh. All right, let's get the heck over to 18 and try and finish one for fun. See where we can hit a tee shot. Last hole here at Chambers Bay. Gonna play it all the way back at 604. I've got absolutely no idea where the fairway is and isn't. I should have brought a range finder, but I didn't. So it looks like I definitely wanna to stay to the left of those two monster bunkers. But honestly, absolutely zero clue how far away they are. Nothing, just gonna give it a rip. See what happens. I mean, that looks like it's right up the center. I don't know, it looks good. Okay, so 254. I don't know if it's gonna come through in camera. The pitch mark's right there. Um, I don't know if it might, you can see my club stick into the hole. But I've got the 773 iron. So two iron bent weak to three iron loft. And I'm gonna try and get this guy up around the green from 254. Anything on this green is just fantastic. I do think I'm gonna trim this club a little shorter. It feels very long. Oh, I whiffed that. Come on, baby. I missed it way off the toe. I heard it bounce. I can't see anything. Again, I don't know what it's gonna look like in camera, but I can barely see. That was like a chunk toe, but it's either in the bunker or up there. Okay, this is too good. So I hit the three iron, the 770 from 254. I don't know where the pitch mark is. It's gotta be way up here. Pins all the way back. This is toe chunked. Oh, I'm out of breath. This is toe chunked to what is this? Six feet? Finish off with an eagle, two under? That is pure filth. Luck. I mean, this is, this is absurd. 
So I had 254, the three iron carries 275. Can't see anything. Nice little chunk toe. Come on, baby. Don't pull a DJ. Now that's an eagle. That is, what a blast. Very lucky. Happy I snuck out. See you next time.